This is the Dimension Stamps Project Club for November 2013 and that's issue number 75. I've already pre-cut my card and we've got two pieces of red that measure 21 centimetres by six and a half centimetres wide and two white ones that measure 21 centimetres times five and a half centimetres wide. So one of the panels we'll put to one side and use in a bit. The other one I have already cut down and the red one measures 20 and a half centimetres long and the white one is 19 and a half centimetres long so we're going to be using those first. Using my stamp and stash, we're going to use the soldier to stamp on the panels. We're going to be using memento ink and some other little bits and pieces. So, first of all, the bit of text to go on top of the panel, and we'll put these to one side for a minute. I want to sort out the cut at the bottom of these panels. We'll start off with the red one so I'll turn it over onto the wrong side and we need to measure the middle. So that's six and a half centimetres wide so it will be three centimetres two and a half millimetres. So I just put a little line there and then that's our middle point so up from the middle we need a three centimetre rise so that is there now all we have to do is from each corner and that's our shape I have put these measurements on the project sheet for future reference so on the back, the middle of this one, uh, five and a half centimetres, is two centimetres, seven millimetres. Well, seven and a half is there. And then the centre rise on this one is two and a half centimetres. I'm just getting that lined up and that's there. Again from the points there. Now we need to cut these out. Because we've marked them on the wrong side, you don't have to bother rubbing any pencil marks out. So I'll just do the red one. Try not to let the point of your scissors meet, unless you've got those really nice scissors that the point won't nip into each other. I will get a little mark and it'll be more noticeable on the other side. Like so. So then we will put these tops together. That's our pennant shape. So we're going to start off with the white one and our memento ink. We need to make the soldier stand just above the cutout area. Just get a bit of a wet wipe. Don't want any stray ink going anywhere. So nice and centre. The 
Está. We need to leave a little gap because that's where our ribbon's going. So then we're going to put the little Merry Christmas sentiment. Across the top. Like so. And then that gives us a nice amount of room there for the band of ribbon to go across. So next we'll do the other piece of white card. And on this one we want the drum. trumpet and a little button you can place these wherever you like I just duplicated the pattern going up so first of all put the drum across the bottom Try and space them out as evenly as you can. Might be better off doing it on a bit of scrap paper. To be honest, I always do a bit of scrap paper. Then we want the trumpet. Slightly angling. Like so. Then we want the batten. And all I did was cross these over. And then we want the drum again. And then lastly the trumpet. And I slightly put that one uphill. There we go. So that's all the stamping we need to do. And we're now going to colour. I prefer to colour with pro markers, but you can use whatever pens, pencils, or markers that you like. I've now completed all the colouring, so now we're going to attach the ribbon. So we just want enough to tuck under on either side. I've already put my double sided tape on. I'll just do the top bit for now. Now this piece can go straight onto the red pennant shape and it's going to go straight at the top like so and then we'll do the same with the straight panel and this one again goes straight at the top and at the bottom Right, our base card. You can 
leave the base card as a full length five piece and just place the two panels centrally or you could have it the other way around if you like but I actually cut mine off so using the guillotine I want to put my centre fold on the seven and a half centimetre mark Slice the front off. With this uh, spare little piece here, you could use a piece of acetate and fix that to the front bit of your card, but use this to cover all your tape marks and everything like that on the back where you've stuck it all together. So then it adds all the little bits and pieces so that's another option but for this one I'm not going to bother we're just going to use the panels and place them straight on the front and then to finish off we need our spare bit of ribbon and we're going to do a little knot And we can trim our ends off. And that's it. That's our card for this month. Thank you. Bye.